We're out of here for another fucked up Friday. Cheers to unfucking things. Hey, not this time. I swear I do know how to brew, you guys. Like for reals. Like I'm not. I'm not this bad of a brewer normally, but uh, we got some issues here. We got some overripe fruit, a little bit very estery, a little bit boozy. I mean, it's passable, and you know, I'll certainly catch a buzz, but this is this is not the best it can be. I mean, we'll probably drink it because we got to learn. You got to suffer through a, a mediocre beer. You know, it'll really make sure you don't mess it up next time. How do we unfuck this? Because I'm really getting tired of these batches that are mediocre at best. This is symptoms of too high fermentation temperature. We're just fermenting willy-nilly, whatever in the shop. It's like, you know, it's maybe 24 degrees Celsius, which means we're fermenting at, you know, 27. No problem, right? We're doing Norwegian ales. No, we're not. We're trying to do normal beer at 27, and it's just not working out. How do we fix this? I went ahead and built us something like, you need a fermentation chamber. You need a place where the temperature is good for fermentation. What does that mean? It can be a fridge that you put a little temp controller on. I'll show you the Inkbird temp controller that I use later. We don't sell them for some reason, but I think I gotta talk to Paul and fix that. You can also put that same Inkbird controller on a freezer. Works the exact same way. There's pros and cons to fridge and freezer, but that's more of a Paul video. You can also do like a glycol setup where there's these cool coils that run through your beer and there's like refrigerant and all the stuff. If you got like $3,000 to set that up. Probably the cheapest bet is just a little like go on Kijiji and get yourself a used chest freezer, a used fridge and throw one of these controllers on it. But I like to build stuff. So I went ahead and built us a fermentation closet using a, an air conditioner, a closet <laughs> that I built uh, <laughs> that's lined with a rigid foam. And again, the Inkbird controller to run that. And we can actually get eight fermenters in there. And that's kind of our main little lab here in grain to glass land. Check out this firm chamber. So here's our fermentation closet. Built it myself. Uh, boom. Open her up. We've got some, uh, what do we got here? Blazing Nebula, Skulls Light, uh, Fresh Squeeze is showing one of the new guys how to brew today. And then Paul's doing some cold IPAs there. Uh, I don't know if you can see up in there is our little air conditioning unit, just a little Danby. And if you want to see, we've also got our little tiny lager fridge that's got, uh, I decided to do the uh, fresh squeeze kit as an IPL today, just for fun. And then here are our Inkbird controllers. Just plug your fridge, air conditioner, whatever into there, set your temp. Bob's your uncle. Love these things I've made not only fermentation chambers, but kegerators and keezers out of them as well. Really good way to dial in beers, resting, serving temp, or your fermentation temp. Like I say, we're gonna figure out how to sell these things. Grain to glass, fucked up Fridays.